hi and welcome back to our channel. I'm Jennifer here today with Kate and today we are exploring the different ways that you can go out and spread the good news about our faith without ever saying a single word. Many of you have probably heard the saying from St. Francis that says, spread the gospel, if necessary, use words. And while that is a wonderful quote, as we know from reading this book, What the Saints Never Said, St. Francis probably never said that, but still the fact remains that Jesus has called us all to go out and share our faith and help spread the gospel. But this can definitely be hard for some people. We're not all naturally gifted public speakers. You want to go out and preach on the street corner. Um, and this is especially hard for kids and teens or maybe people who are new to the faith and they're a bit intimidated by it. So we hope our ideas today can help you feel more confident and make it easier for you to go out and spread the good news. As you know, if you've watched many of our videos, I do teach teenagers and they particularly struggle with talking about Jesus because they think that's weird <laughs> and they don't want to be weird like me. I love to talk about Jesus. So the idea for spreading the faith wordlessly came from my classroom experiences. So what I generally do is I teach a class and we break it down into four different ways that you can easily spread the faith without using words. Things that you wear, things that you display, things that you send maybe as a gift, and actions that you can take. So if we start with the first category of things that you can wear, it can be as simple as something like a t-shirt, like what we're wearing here today. I have my t-shirt for The Chosen, which is a great TV series about the life of Christ. And I'm wearing one of my favorite t-shirts from P.O. Prince Online. It's a quote from Teresa of Avila. There are tons of places nowadays that you can buy religious clothing, even Amazon, and even things like socks or ties. What you're wearing is a great conversation starter. So you can also wear religious jewelry. There is a large market for jewelry for men and women. And if you're wearing a religious bracelet or necklace, you would be surprised just how often people notice it and comment upon it, which is an easy way to start up a conversation because if they're asking, all you have to do is answer the question. For some reason, I get asked a lot about my miraculous medal by cashiers in grocery stores and department stores. They notice it and they ask me about it. And I have a friend who had a C-section recently and she said that one of the delivery nurses was wearing a miraculous medal and that gave her such a great sense of peace and comfort. So even though they never had a conversation about it, it just reminded her of her faith and it was very comforting. This bracelet is one of my favorites and it actually came from the Bass Pro Shop of all places. Category number two is using items that you send because one of the easiest ways to talk about Jesus is using your mailbox. And one of the ways that you can do that is by using religious stamps. And we know the ones that we buy at Christmas, but they do work all year. And if you put a religious stamp on something in June, the person who's getting it is probably going to notice it. And even if it's just for a split second, you have gotten them to think about Jesus. So that's mission accomplished for you. And you didn't have to say anything or even be there. So that's awesome. <laughs> You can also put religious stickers on your outgoing mail, which is something I love to do. I do it all the time. I mail a lot of packages. So I go to Hobby Lobby when stickers are on sale and I buy the religious ones there. I also buy pro-life stickers online and I'll link my favorite website for that below. So that's one way to get the message out there. The Dollar Tree also from time to time has Catholic stickers or religious stickers. So that's also another great source. So what about the gifts that you give? They can also work and they can have a really big impact. And now you might think that your friend or coworker is never going to read the religious book that you gave them or the towel with the Bible verse on it, but you never know. They can't read a book that they don't have. And if they don't have that religious tea towel, they can never <laughs> read the verse that's on it. 
So that's a good opportunity. Also, this one is really good for godparents. If you are sending presents to godchildren, there are so many fun religious gifts available nowadays, so the ideas are limitless. You can buy them a Catholic book, age appropriate, every year for their birthday and send that. So start a collection for them. And by the time they're grown up and they leave home, they will have a ready-made Catholic library to share with their own children, which is a really cool idea. So category number three is items that you display. And this could be at work, at your house, or even in your car. Because yes, you can use your car as an advertisement for Jesus. You could have a Bible in the back seat, or a rosary up by the dash, or even one of those guardian angel visor clips, and they're great for starting conversations. On the outside of your car, you could have a religious bumper sticker or a pro-life bumper sticker or some type of religious decal. And then the person sitting behind you in traffic will be able to read those and think about Jesus or the person walking by your car in a parking lot can notice them and think about Jesus. So there are many opportunities there. And you can obviously display religious prints up on your walls in your house or on your fridge, which is our favorite. And anyone who comes in will see them, see Jesus, and might ask about him. So a crucifix or a holy water font, things like that all work. If you like this idea and you're on a budget, you can check out the Dollar Tree. They always have religious plaques or frames or Bible verses that you can put on the wall for only a dollar. The Catholic car company online, we'll link that below. It also has lots of decals and things for a very reasonable price. You know, sometimes it's good to stop and ask yourself, if someone got into my car or came into my house for the first time, would that person even know that I believed in God or that I'm Catholic from looking at the things that I have on display in my home? Category number four is the actions that you take. And a really easy way to do this is by creating a social media post. And this doesn't have to be some sort of long, in-depth theological post. It can just be your favorite Bible verse or a picture of a saint on their feast day. And even if no one comments on it, chances are that someone somewhere is going to see it. And that might mean that someone sees your Bible verse when they're having a really bad day and it cheers them up. Or maybe they see the post you made about a saint and they get really interested and ask you about it. Another great action that you can take is to volunteer at church. Maybe there's a confirmation retreat going on or an engaged encounter weekend, or maybe Vacation Bible School needs volunteers. This is a great way for you to help spread the faith. Now, I know what you're thinking, I don't wanna be up on a stage talking about Jesus. Well, you don't have to. These type of events need a lot of support players. They need people in the kitchen. They need people to help decorate, people to help direct traffic in the parking lot. So you can do any one of those things. You can be a major support player and it's all going towards the same goal of spreading the good news or you can financially support a Catholic organization that's aiming to spread the faith. This could be Catholic Answers, Catholic Radio, Dynamic Catholic with Matthew Kelly. There are so many of them and you can take your pick, but they all need that financial support to keep the lights on and keep their mission going. Another great and powerful action that you can take is to live your life differently. Maybe you can try to be that person who doesn't complain, who is always upbeat and smiling. Or maybe you can be that extra generous person who's always doing crazy things like paying it forward in the drive through line. And no, to do that, you don't have to suddenly become perfect because who can do that? Just try every day to live your life a little bit differently. People will notice it and they'll want to be like you. They'll think, what is the source of your joy? How can you be so upbeat and happy? Remember St. Therese, the little flower? She became a great saint just by doing small things every day with great love. And last and probably most important is to pray and to pray all the time. Pray for your friends and your relatives and your neighbors and pray that they come to know and love God. Pray also for priests and religious and missionaries. They especially need our prayers. Even if you are not super comfortable going out there and talking about Jesus, these are the people who are, and they especially could use the extra help. So praying for them is very important work. 
And you can also always ask God to help you be more confident when spreading your faith with or without words. Because as time goes by and as you do it more, it becomes easier. It does. So that is our roundup today of wordless ways that you can spread the faith. So we hope that they will help you. Let us know in the comments if you have any great ways to spread the faith, again, with or without words. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.